okay this is the good stuff this is going to be the next section of my videos and there's a hundred videos that are going to be in this section literally so I'm going to be bouncing around between the wow signal deciphering videos plus I also decipher my own SETI message that I sent December 6th I wanted to see if it would bring up anything and it just blew my mind what came up the words that I typed that looked like little alien lingo they actually do mean something, so I was kind of freaked out about it. But anyways, those are going to be some of the new videos coming. Um, with the WOW signal, um, based from August 1977, um, the start starting point for it is 19 hours, 15 minutes, and 48 seconds. The stopping point was 19 hours, 19 minutes, and 35 seconds. In that section of data, this is... What happened is I got the original one from Wikipedia, the smaller version of it, which is right here. This one. Look how tiny it is. Okay, so I thought that was the whole signal. And then I'm doing some more Google search and I'm like, oh my God, look at this. This is the signal here, right? Okay. This is the original transmission signal. And I've done this little section from here to here and I got 100 videos about that. Can you believe that? a hundred videos of data that I found decoding these numbers here yes I actually decoded them they're mathematical equations I took the mathematical equations and found all sorts of cool stuff so I'm sure you guys will be interested in watching it or you won't I don't know we'll see okay so January 10th 2012 my thoughts I found this after deciphering the shorter version of the wow signal and this was what I started that back in December Let's see what date did, uh, December 29th and then like this is when I find this January 7th so of course I'm working my butt off right for hours on end deciphering these mathematical equations and then I find out almost a week later guess what it's a bigger picture and I didn't do it I can't I don't have time to do it all seriously I'm just going to do that one wild signal section and that's it for now okay Okay, so I found this after deciphering the shorter version of the WOW signal. I've only deciphered the numbers in that original set of data. This is a copy of the actual transmission, which I will probably review again at another time if I need to. I don't know that the original found on Wikipedia is just a section of code where he wrote the word WOW because he found an alien signal in this data. Okay, so I've marked off the starting point, which I gave to you at the very beginning of the video. My big print start and stop okay and this is the starting point numbers are over yonder here and it says at the top channel number two digits written vertically ascension descension and then it's got some sort of code thing here but this is the whole code here see that I uh, can't see if that's numbers I don't know if you see that there you go and he wrote the words wow because this signal here I guess, see all those binary digits, those are all ones and twos, right? And then over here he's got 6EQUJ5, and of course that's an alien signal. I guess the binary here is considered uh, noise transmissions from satellites from Earth and stuff. But this thing here is an alien signal, they don't normally get that, so then they called it the wow signal. Okay? So, the funny thing is, is after this wow signal was found in 1977, I'm actually starting a new section. I've done all the wow equations. I got, let's see, how many lines did I decipher? I deciphered over 27 lines. So this is 27 lines of data. I deciphered all 27 and then I got interested in crop circles. And I'm going to be doing a series about the crop circles and how they're in relation to this wow signal. <laughs> yeah, I know it sounds freaky, but it's true. <laughs> It's funny because the stuff that came up with the wow signal is actually coming up in these crop circles. And I'm thinking there's got to be some sort of connection here, right? It's like, okay, so they send you a numerical uh, contact message. For 30 years, we haven't deciphered it, okay? So for the last 30 years, they've been trying to show us pictures on the crop circles, trying to say, look, okay, if you can't read the numbers we send you, let's send you some pictures instead. So here's one of the pictures there. It's really beautiful the stuff that they do. Anyways I'm going to be deciphering those to see if there's any sort of connection between this and the wild signal. Yeah, weird eh? Cool. 
Okay, so the second part of this video is I wanted to show the original transmission, but the actual video that we're going to be talking about today is Contact, Wow, Steady Signal, Aliens, Mayas, UFO, Kepler Planets. That's going to be the title. So the first thing I did is I did do a few videos last week where I found a piano and some numbers on it, and then I played the keyboard with the numbers from the symbol for zero from the Mayas, which is 5.878327986. E I substitute E, the E, for a number three, because the key of E is the third one on there. So the 1567891010, number 10 is 10 on the keyboard, there is no zero. See that? There's no zero. I was looking for the symbol for zero, right? The zero. So there's no zero there. So this is the original signal that I'm going to decipher here in the next set of videos. Okay, and a study volunteer, Dr. Jerry Iman, is the one that found it August 15, 1977. He found it with the Big Ear t Radio Telescope, and there's the uh, SETILEAGUE.ORG articles, WOWSMALL.GIF. Okay, the word ROW, let's find out what it means. It was received its name from the marginal note on the computer printout, penned by SETI volunteer Dr. Jerry Iman. He became famous from this, you know. I came across the strangest signal I have never seen, and I immediately scribbled WOW next to it. Iman explained, at first I thought it was an Earth signal reflected from space debris. But after I studied it further, I found that it couldn't be the case. The letters and numbers in the printout are today widely misinterpreted as a message. What does the progression of 6EQUJ5 actually stand for, asked one SETI enthusiast. A sequence in need of completion, a matrix in need of expanding, a computer malfunction, and my battery's dying on me again. Okay, sorry guys. But anyways, there's some more stuff here. Okay, and the diagram with the different colors of lines was based on a message I received during a meditation on December 29, 2011, around 2.03 a.m. Simply say, connect all the ones and twos, threes, fours, and fives. Look at your pattern. It doesn't mean anything to me when I originally started doing then some research and it seems to map out something. So I will continue this in the next video. But there's the colors there that I drew. I connected all the ones and the twos and it looks like it's off again. I moved my stuff around to put these notes here. Okay, so I'm going to talk about in the next video 